All right, good morning. We're going to start today by doing Linux DD. <clears throat> Just like before, though, we need to set it up to actually identify a USB. So like FTK, we need to go into our settings and then go down to the USB, turn it on, and then hit that little plus button right there, and then I attach the USB that we're going to use in order to create that direct copy, right? Because Linux DD uh, is going to make a bit for bit copy of this. Now, a lot of people usually ask, what's the difference between Linux DD and something like FTK? Well, while both take a bit for bit copy, FTK is considered digitally sound, or I should say forensically sound, where Linux DD is not, meaning you can't really use something in Linux DD for uh, a trial or sort of forensic investigation that requires um, legal precedent. Uh, it's not going to be taken into a court of law because it doesn't really prove that forensic soundness um, that FTK does, right? But for Linux, it's a great little item, right? So we're gonna hit OK on that one, and then we're ready to start up our Linux box. Uh, so we're gonna log into our Kali just like we normally do. Get rid of that box over there. And we just wanna verify that the USB is actually being detected. So I'm gonna go to that file folder, I'm gonna open folders, and then all the way down at the bottom, you can see in devices, I've got that one gigabyte right there and you can see that there's my dissertation and here is all those pictures that we saw under FTK just like before. So we're gonna close that out, open up terminal. Let me blow this up and we're gonna do the command SLBLK and this is gonna give us an idea of what is already attached into our system. What is our hard drives looking like? What's our storage looking like? So on and so forth. So <coughs> you can see here that SDA Right here, that's my normal hard drive disk. So I have 80 gigs associated with my current hard drive within my system. Uh, and then SDB, you can see right here, right, the B, I've got 958 megabytes associated. So this is going to be my uh, USB drive that we talked about. And we're gonna identify that because that's important when we do our bit for bit copy. So we're gonna get to this directory right here. And to do that, we're just gonna do a CD media forward slash Kali. Oh, forgot to put that little forward slash in the front of it, just like so. And you can see here that we are in media Kali. Now we're gonna do a uh, F disk. So F disk dash L, and that's gonna list everything in there. And you can see here that I actually have permission denied. So I need to do a sudo in front of that. So I'm gonna do sudo F disk dash L. And you can start to see here that we've got our system, right? And we have our hard drive right here. And we can see that we've got quite a few sectors. We see that's a virtual box hard disk and that each sector composes of 512 bytes. Okay. Now, if you look under our device here, excuse me, right here, we can see a few, a little bit less sectors, still 512 bytes. Uh, and this identifier right here. Right, so we've got our disk identifier, and you pay attention here, our hard drive, our virtual hard drive disk got a different identifier than our USB, which is on purpose, obviously. We can also see that uh, we have a boot start hitting on 2552 with an end, how many sectors we have, the total size, and then what type of file system we're doing. In this case, it's a FAT16. So we wanna make this DD copy of this right here right, this dev sdb1. And so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do dd if for input file equals, and then forward slash dev, forward slash sdb1, and then we have to give it an output file, so of output file equals, and then I'm gonna do the squiggly line right there uh, to tell it put back on the regular thing, and then we're just gonna name it whatever we want. In this case, I'm gonna name mine usb1.img for the image, hit enter, uh, permission denied, so I forgot to do sudo. So we'll do sudo in front of that. And you can see now that it is actually creating a bit for bit copy of that, that USB, uh, which will allow us to use it for uh, later investigation. So give it a second, let it run, do its thing. So this took about, I don't know, about five minutes for one gig. Um, I'm not running a lot of cores on this system, so if I had devoted a little bit more computing power, it would have been quicker. But you can see here that we have so many records in, so many records out, they should match uh, total bytes, and then it's been copied.
So we've completed that. Now we're just going to do a CD and we'll hit the, uh, the little squiggly line, which is shift and then the very far left of your keyboard. Hit that and then do an LS. And here we have our USB image. Now I also want to point out that this is a dot image file, i.e. it was done doing a DD in Linux as compared to a EO1 file which we did in FTK, right? So be aware of those if you're looking at different images, what you're what you're looking at, all right? I hope this uh, helped. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, if it was helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit that little alarm bell. We'll see you next time. Thanks.